10 interesting facts about South Sudan that you didn't know. South Sudan, also known as Southern Sudan, is a country in northeastern Africa with a diverse biodiversity that includes lush savannas, swamplands, and rainforests that are home to a diverse range of wildlife. It is landlocked by Ethiopia, Sudan, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, and Kenya. In 2011, South Sudan was a part of Sudan, its northern neighbor. The population of South Sudan is dominated by Sudan's predominantly Muslim and Arab northern government. Shuba is the capital of South Sudan. Many of South Sudan's current ethnic groups were formed between the 15th and 19th centuries. The southern Sudan was ravaged for slaves after Muhammad al, viceroy of Egypt under the Ottoman Empire, attacked the Sudan region in 1820. Toward the end of the 19th century, the British and Egyptians ruled Sudan. Although the North was reasonably fast to accept British control, the South was more reluctant. As a result, British energy in the North could be directed toward modernization initiatives, whilst in the South, they were more concerned with maintaining order, resulting in a development divide that lasted decades. The population of the country is 13,735 million people. South Sudan's vast plains and plateaus are drained by the Nile River and its tributaries. From south to north, this river system runs the length of the country's east-central region. A clay plain runs through the center of the country, which is surrounded by a vast swampy region known as Al Sud. Africa Reloaded is a reimagined version of the continent of Africa. Stay tuned as we offer you 10 fascinating facts about South Sudan that you may not be aware of. 10. South Sudan is a multilingual society. South Sudan is a multilingual nation with more than 60 indigenous languages. The indigenous languages Dinka, Nuer, Bari, and Zand are among the most widely spoken. Both English and Juba Arabic, an Arabic pidgin used by tens of thousands in Juba, the capital city, serve as lingua franca. 9. South Sudanese women dominate African fashion industry. Fashion is not normally the first thing that springs to mind when people think about South Sudan after a five and a half year civil war and ongoing intercommunal violence. A small group of young fashion designers, on the other hand, claim they wish to assist change the country's image by displaying locally produced garments that are attracting international notice. South Sudanese women have progressed in the fashion business in recent years, displaying innovation in the remarkable world of fashion. This is a huge step forward for the country since, unlike before, women can now have a say in the country's affairs. In South Sudan, women's lives are still inextricably linked to cattle. Several women have been married to affluent men who own large cow herds. 8. A nation blessed with the most dark-skinned people in the world. In South Sudan, the world's youngest country and home to some of the world's darkest people, skin whitening and the issue of colorism, often defined as prejudice or discrimination against dark-skinned people, have a convoluted history. It may be traced back to centuries of colonialism, the violent birth and relocation of a nation, and the country's decades-long struggle for acceptance and independence from Sudan, which it seceded from in 2011 after decades of civil war. 7. A country with more animals than people. South Sudan has an estimated 11.7 million cattle, 12.4 million goats, and 12.1 million sheep in a population of roughly 13 million people, according to figures from the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, Tourism, Animal Resources, and Fisheries. Cattle are a curse in South Sudan. It's not a resource that benefits the people. It's being raised for show. Sudan's livestock population is estimated to be worth $2.2 billion per capita, making it the highest in Africa. According to Isaac Woja, a natural resources management specialist, these animals are not being managed adequately, resulting in water scarcity and environmental deterioration. 6. Home of the Nilotes The Nilotes make up the majority of the population in South Sudan, where they are said to have dispersed originally. After the Bantu peoples, they are the second largest group of peoples occupying the African Great Lakes region along the Eastern Great Rift. 
They also make up a sizable section of Ethiopia's population in the southwest. The most common religions among the Nilotic people are Christianity and traditional faiths, such as the Dinka religion. 5. Wealth is measured by the number of cattle in South Sudan. Keeping livestock alive and healthy is vital in South Sudan, where the bulk of the population relies heavily on cattle, sheep, and goats for their livelihood. The International Committee of the Red Cross ICRC, helps communities afflicted by armed conflict become more resilient by protecting animals from disease. Communities can remain self-sufficient by keeping animals healthy. You can shift your animals to avoid confrontation in a place with so many conflict dynamics. Local herders gather their animals in a vaccination area during an ICRC livestock immunization operation in Moore Hills, former Jongle State. If you don't have animals, it's as if you're not a human being in South Sudan. It's as though you're not a South Sudanese. 4. One of Africa's biggest oil producers. South Sudan is attempting to develop, fund, and staff a potentially lucrative oil sector that might provide the poor country with a much-needed economic foothold 10 years after becoming the world's newest nation. The majority of Sudan's key oil reserves were moved to South Sudanese territory after the country's independence. The new government, on the other hand, lacks the competence and financial resources to keep much of the oil flowing and has become dependent on international aid. South Sudan has the third largest oil reserves in sub-Saharan Africa, with an annual output of roughly 3.5 billion barrels. Despite this, 90% of the gas and oil reserves have yet to be discovered. 3. South Sudan is known as the Land of Giants. The Dinka are a Nilotic ethnic group from South Sudan that have a big diaspora presence all over the world. South Sudan is a massive country with huge dimensions. South Sudan's Dinka people are regarded to be Africa's tallest people. The Dinka diet is predominantly millet-based. Depending on the season, it is supplemented with cow milk, fish, pork, beans, tomatoes, and rice. 2. A nation blessed with a diversified wildlife. South Sudan has the world's second largest land mammal migration, which includes globally significant species including the Nubian giraffe, lion, elephant, hippopotamus, and others. The 22,000-kilometer Sud wetland, which is one of the world's largest freshwater ecosystems, is home to several endangered animal species, antelopes, millions of migrating birds, and vast fish populations. The country, on the other hand, has not taken advantage of the economic benefits of biodiversity, such as tourism. South Sudan's cattle business is similarly woefully underdeveloped in terms of modern production. However, through industrial expansion, exports, and job creation, this industry has a lot of potential to increase food security, livelihood, and income production, and economic transformation, all of which can contribute to significant GDP gains. 1. The youngest country in the world After a referendum in which almost 99% of people voted in favor of secession, South Sudan declared independence from Sudan in July 2011. After two civil wars pitting rebels in Sudan's mostly Christian and animist South against the Arab-dominated government in Khartoum, the referendum was held. The battle claimed the lives of millions of people. In 2005, the government and southern militants reached an accord. Before the independence referendum, it exempted the South from Islamic Sharia law and granted it six years of autonomy. Salva Kiir was sworn in as the country's first president, with Rik Machar as his deputy. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do well to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more updates.